Goeiedag en welkom bij een nieuwe aflevering van Q-Time. Vandaag heb ik twee bijzondere vrouwen die vanuit heel ver, uh, namelijk uh, uh, eentje in België en die andere in, uh, in Londen, uh, met ons praten vandaag over uh, de producties van Christmas movies voor Nollywood. Nollywood is namelijk de filmindustrie van Nigeria. En um, onze eigen Surinaamse mevrouw Janine van Tro, die is daar uh, bij betrokken. En zij introduceert vandaag aan ons mevrouw Rhoda Wilson. En daarover gaan we vandaag praten. We gaan alvast kennis maken met de dames en uh, natuurlijk het hebben over uh, het goede werk dat zij aan het doen zijn in de filmindustrie van Nollywood. What we need is a little cute time. Rhoda and Shanine, welcome in Q-Time, both of us. Well, I think this is better to do the interview in English because uh, Rhoda doesn't understand Dutch. Uh, and I know that Shanine speaks English, yes, that's no for problem. sure. Thank you. <laughs> First of all, I would, uh, of course, like to compliment my fellow Suriname's uh, beautiful lady over there uh, that she is uh, representing Suriname all across the world. Uh, and of course, in assistance with, uh, with Rhoda. In my introduction, I already talked about what Um, uh, what we're talking about, the film industry of uh, uh, Nigeria, specifically, Nollywood. Uh, but first, before we get into the movies that you guys are making, I would like to ask Shanine to um, explain to us how you got uh, in this industry and in contact with, uh, with Rhoda, because I, uh, that's very interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to hear about your story. Um, okay, thank you very much. Um... I assume I have to do it in English, right? You don't. You um, don't. Whatever I, you feel comfortable with. Okay. No, English is fine. Okay. I got introduced to Rhoda during one of the um, uh, workshops that she did for... I'm a member of the uh, Black Women in Europe um, organization. Mm. And Rhoda did a, a workshop. And I missed the workshop. I actually missed the workshop. So I reached out to the lady that uh, founded the Black Women ah. in Europe, and I asked her to um, to get Rhoda's uh, credentials because I saw so many people responding to uh, to the workshop and that it was a very good one, and I really hated that I missed it. So I reached out to Rhoda, but I also reached out to her with a challenge because um, I have been watching Nollywood movies for very long, and uh, mm. I am in the natural hair business. I am not a, uh, a I'm not a a, a movie person I just watch them um, and but I am in a natural hair uh, business I'm a natural hair therapist and I, I, I um, have a, a, a cosmetic uh, company and what I noticed with these movies is that there was some um, there was a red line through all these different movies and what I noticed is that whenever they talked about the poor village girl, then the girl would have either her hair in, in, an, in a short afro or it would be braided in cornrows. And the minute she moves to the city, um, the minute she married the millionaire prince, the minute she launched the, the, the corporate office job, then all of a sudden her whole appearance changed. But the appearance not only uh, in terms of uh, better clothing or other clothing, but they they would always always have a wig on and as a or a wig or a weave and as a natural hair therapist um i started to challenge um the nollywood producers with the message that they were sending because the message that i was that was that i was getting is that um as far as nollywood is concerned natural hair stands for poor so as long as you're poor you have natural hair if you make it you have money to wear a wig or a weave. So I uh, reached out to Rhoda actually, and I, um, I discussed this with her and she was very open to, uh, to, to look into it. So I explained to her what I just explained to you and she said, okay, let's do it. <laughs> That's it actually. I said that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love pragmatic women. It's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so why did this, uh, why did this uh, call for action um, appeal to you, Rhoda? Uh, I guess I'm in the creative industry. And uh, for me, I'm looking for something that will resonate with my, uh, my audience. And when Jenny came to me with a proposal, I thought, actually, do you know what? This is true. 
you know, when you watch Nollywood movies, you always see that uh, um, you always see that the women have long hair when they're rich and, and so on. When they're poor, they have na uh, natural hair. And I felt that that was the wrong perception. So for me, I felt actually, why don't we change it? Change people's mind. And don't forget, many of the, the things that is being said is the media. The media is the one that that feeds this kind of information to the audience. That says if you have natural, if you have long hair, means you're rich. If you have uh, uh, natural, means you're poor. So I decided to change the narrative. That's why I, I took it on board because that shouldn't be the case. Okay, because with that statement, you're also challenging uh, something that has been going on for decades. And uh, I mean, it's not easy to make such a step into daring to be different on that because I know that, you know, women of color with their hair, tell me about it, I know, it's a thing. <laughs> and we can get in big trouble for it, but you're trying to change actually a total cultural perception. I think that's very brave. How have you gone about to try to change it? Uh, me, yes. Uh, yep. What I did actually was, um, I spoke to my creative dis, uh, uh, department and Jenny was a hair, uh, a hair consultant. We spoke and said, this is the dream we want to achieve. This is what we want to get, what can we do? And do you know, believe it or not, all the cast and crew, since then I'm sold. Oh, in my last, my last movie uh, done this year, we, had, we went for natural hair. Uh, I am sold when it comes to natural hair because I believe that we need to promote who we are. We don't need to be ashamed of our hair. If you want to have long hair, fine. But if you are showing something on the screen as a producer, as a filmmaker, there's nothing wrong in, in, in using natural hair. So for me, this is how I went about it. Got the team together. We discuss it. I says, I want this. Go away and come up with styles. And they came up with styles. And you know, I've been doing movies for a long time. This is the first time that we combine the hair, the star, the, the costumes, and we're winning awards. So it just goes to show that people are actually looking for alternative. People are looking for, they want to see- Ready the, for the, the change. Exactly, they're looking, yeah. and they want to accept who they are. Yeah. Nobody should make them feel ashamed that if they have a natural hair, they should be ashamed. That, that is wrong. So I for me, it's, I think, it's, wow. uh, it's a very beautiful step. I really applaud both of you for being so brave. I really, I really love this initiative. Um, let me ask you this, uh, Rhoda. Uh, did m more of your co-directors and movie makers uh, take your uh, first bold move into account when they're making their new movies? Is this going to become a thing now in Nollywood, using more natural hair? I am hoping that they will do that. And I know one particular filmmaker, Princess Abia, does that. And she uses our natural hair. So she likes to, 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 to portray that. So it's a gradual step. And I'm hoping that because Christmas with the King, which is the movie that uh, Jenny worked with us on uh, as a hair uh, consultant, is winning awards. So I'm hoping that because it's winning awards, people can see that actually this is great movie. Let us, let us copy it in terms of the star. Let us start using natural hair for, for our movie. So for me, that is a testament, really, uh, 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 for, for the work that we've done. Yeah. Okay. Janine, does this mean that you will uh, be consulted more often in, uh, in Hollywood uh, movies and in the film industry for uh, this new path that you've introduced everybody I to? I certainly do hope so. Yeah. Um, there is a, a producer... And um, there is a, a producer in, um, in Nigeria that reached out to me mm -hmm. and we have been having conversations. Um, uh, so I, I do hope that this would be a new trend for producers to be consciously looking at um, the hairstyles that they are portraying and the messages. For me, it is about the message that you are giving to the audience and to the youth. Um, so uh, like, like Rhoda said, these are little steps. So we are, I've, I've, I've thrown out some breadcrumbs and I hope that um, the, the producers and the directors pick on it and work with it and who knows what the future brings. Okay, so this is only the Nollywood industry. Huh? So we need to still, it's baby steps, of course, like Rhoda said, but you never know, you might be on a revolutionary path.
because I know <laughs> that if we're looking at if we're looking at what's going on in the world for the last couple of years, I mean there needs to be a change, and I think that the more uh, areas that the change can come into, I think that the the better that we will be able to make the steps towards a positive um, attitude, uh, inclusion, respect for each other, treating people with the dignity that they deserve, um, and not to make a, a distinction between where you live, the skin color, where you're from, what language you speak, and so forth and so on. So I do think that this is maybe it sounds like a small thing, but I do acknowledge um, the impact that it can make, and I applaud both of you for being the daring women that you are in trying to make this uh, make this switch. I really am very impressed and very proud of you too. <laughs> And I really uh, appreciate the fact that you are sharing this with me now. And I do, do want to take a moment to talk to Rhoda about her movie, because uh, Christmas with a King is, was uh, premiered uh, last um, Saturday. And of course, Janine worked on that movie as well. So it's a product of the both of you. So mm -hmm. um, tell us about Christmas with a King. Mm -hmm. Give us a synopsis <laughs> of the story. Wow, okay, I, I have to try to remember this. Uh, so Queen Atari, uh, sister went missing many years ago. And the queen decided to, to, the king is trying to find the sister for the queen. And he sent out his warriors, he's done so many things, but they can't find the sister of hers. So the queen got fed up. So one day she decided she was going to leave the palace and she was going to find her sister at all costs. So she stepped out to find her sister. As she was going to find her sister, she, she came across a, a, a group of kids. And, um, and that is it, really. And the, the synopsis that will she find her sister uh, as she set out to, against the king's uh, 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 instruction to, or against the king's wishes to, uh, to find her sister. So that's more or less the story. So it's a story that goes from the queen leaving the palace, and then it goes through with several, several plots. Okay. Uh, that tells a beautiful story. And the costume as well. The costume is amazing. Yeah. The hair is beautiful. The, the makeup, wow. And, uh, and the acting as well for the kids. Okay. Like I said to you, most of the kids were, were, they came to my workshop. So what I do is that I include them. Uh, if they're not that, if they're still new in the industry, I give them a role as extra. Mm -hmm. If they're better, I give them a more a speaking role. That's okay. what I also do. Very nice. We'll be looking forward to a Christmas with a King from Rhoda. And of course, uh, the last question is for Janine. When you hear the plot and you look at the set on what's going on, how do you uh, decide what natural hairstyle or type um, uh, is, is suited for the actors? What do you take into okay. consideration when you, when you make out your your hairstyles for the cast. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, I didn't do that alone. It was actually a, a, a combination of, uh, we got, we all got the script from, uh, from Rhoda and then together with the makeup artist, with the hairstylist, with, um, those that were, um, doing the clothing, the, um, and, and the people involved, the, the actresses and the actors, because I had one-on-one -on -one conversations with all of them, looking at their hair, looking at their hair type, discussing how they treat it. And then we looked at what is the role that you are playing and what would fit with um, the, the clothing that you would have, uh, what would fit, uh, what hairstyle would fit into that. And I uh, especially liked the fact that... Um, for instance, with the with the queen um, Wendy, uh, she she is a natural hair um, fashionista actually. So I, I really enjoyed working with her. And there were several uh, children, and of course I didn't only talk to the children, but also with their moms. And the the mothers were like, "Oh, this is such a great idea. This is so." It was very. Um, uh, it was very pleasant to work with a whole group. It was it was actually a group effort. Yeah. And they were welcoming the fact that the natural hair was uh, predominantly yes. the choice. Absolutely. Okay. Very good, yes. very good. Yeah. Uh, ladies, I want to thank you for your time and the effort that you uh, put in having this conversation with me. We're very proud of both, both of you. Um, I'm, it's, I'm glad you. that we are able to share across the ocean still some 
uh, exciting adventures of what women are facing in the rest of the world and of course of the fact that, that you uh, put down this movie the first one um, uh, in this combination I think I hope there'll be more after that Christmas with yes. a King so we'll be looking forward to it good luck to everything that you're doing and uh, keep making us proud thank you so much Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks, Miranda. Thanks. Okay. Good luck, ladies. And we'll Thanks. be looking forward to it. Thank you. Okay. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Bye. What made is a little cute time. Dat was het zeer gezellige gesprek met Rhoda Wilson en Janine van Tro. U heeft het gehoord, uh, Janine is uh, werkzaam in België en zij is een natuurlijke haartherapeut. En zij is op die manier uh, via haar interesse, haar werk in contact gekomen met Rhoda die in de Nollywood industrie werkt. En Janine heeft daar haar bijdrage geleverd om eigenlijk het gebruik van natural hair uh, te, te, ja, kan je zeggen, te promoten uh, in de Nollywood industrie films. Heel erg mooi ook om te zien dat een Surinaamse vrouw uh, tot op dat niveau zich heeft door kunnen werken en dat werkelijk haar bijdrage aan het uh, leveren is uh, voor een uh, verandering in de industrie. Hartelijk bedankt voor het hebben willen kijken naar deze aflevering van Q-Time en you never know, misschien krijgen we uh, Christmas with the King ook wel te zien uh, op deze zender. Dank u wel.